Good morning everybody and welcome to Cairns. Uh, I had a few hours sleep last night uh, after flying down from uh, up the north. Um, so this morning I've got to go uh, find the bus that's going to take me down to Townsville. Um, so I think it's about like a six hour bus ride. So it's um, going to be a bit of a long one. So, on the move, again, um, yeah, just got to find, find the right place now. Um, I suppose that's the thing with travel, you never really know whereabouts you're heading. I have a rough idea, but, um, so it's fairly quiet at the moment, a few cars buzzing about, um, people getting ready for the day, but uh, only a few of us crazy ones at this time of the morning travelling, so... Alright, so I'm at the, uh, the spot that Google Maps says I should be at. Um, oh, actually, here's the numbers now. Number 11, so I'm looking for number 6. I think I just found somewhere for breakfast. It's all good. We can get a coffee. Can I get a double shot latte to take away, please? A large one? Double shot. So I made the bus with about uh, 10 minutes or so to spare. So, um, yeah, now it should be all good. Uh, off to Townsville now. Like I said, it's about a five, six hour journey. Let me love you. Let me love you. Don't you give up. No, no, no. I won't give up. No, no, no. Let me love you. Let me love you. So just hopped off the uh, the bus at a place called Cardwell. It's really sunny out. I should have brought the sunnies, but um, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I've never even heard of this place, but take a look at it. It's amazing. So I've uh, just arrived at Townsville, just got off the bus um, just before and uh, just going for a walk. It's going to be a bit of a nuisance with my bag and everything today but uh, got a couple of hours to kill before I head to the airport. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have a look around and see what's about um, at the moment um, up uh, near the C-Link terminal. But, uh, anyway, yeah, we'll just uh, go for a bit of an explore and uh, see what's around. So it uh, doesn't appear like there's too much down that way. I think I've, I think I've headed in the wrong direction for the most part. But anyway, got to see the uh, got to see the boats, so that's cool. I've had to put my cap back on though. It's so so hot, so I've got to protect my neck a bit. I don't want to get sunburnt. So um, so hopefully I'll just find a nice little cafe around here somewhere and. Uh, then that way I can get some work done, get the laptop recharged and, and I'll be good to go again then to the airport when Michael arrives. Um, it's got about three hours just to waste really at the moment. So yeah, let's see what we can see around Townsville. I was just walking down the road to, to find one of the cafes just to get some uh, internet and hook the laptop up um, and get a coffee, but I couldn't find anywhere with power, um, which was sort of the big one, more so than the internet even. Um, so, I kept walking and I just found this internet cafe place. Um, I didn't know they even still existed, but they do. Um, so, sat down here, it's like $2 for unlimited internet, so I'm gonna hook up to that, get the laptop charged again, uh, finish off some edits, and um, yeah, and then it'll probably be, by the time I finish editing, it'll be time to uh, grab a cab and head off to the airport. So, uh, just spoken to Michael, we landed in Brisbane, uh, he's on his next flight now, up here to Townsville. So, uh, not long now, and uh, we'll get, get going again. I won't give up.
finished up at the Internet Cafe. It's uh, it's getting close to Michael's arrival at Townsville, so I'm gonna head off now. I think there's a taxi rank just over the road, so uh, head over there and see if I can grab a cab. Waiting for Michael, she's only about 15 minutes. I just grabbed myself a uh, coffee. Just going to finish off that bit of work I was doing at uh, Internet Cafe. Um, and then we'll go and find the international terminal. Shouldn't be uh, too far away, hopefully. So Michael's just uh, messaged me, he said he's uh, heading to the carousel now, so we'll go and see if we can find him. Any penny? You want to buy 12? Like international is right down the end there, but this is like the only flight that is international from here, <laughs> like for the whole week essentially. Yeah, so um, I reckon we just head down there, just go to Jetstar and see what time, because they're probably not even open yet for no, this flight. So I got to the airport earlier on and it looks like half of my bag's ripped. So um, that along as a bit of extra security, because Michael said about it a couple of weeks ago. Um, but maybe we, we rack them up. So when I went to Woolworths earlier, I got some cling wrap, so I'm gonna wrap them up now. Um, we'll see, see if it works. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. We'll give it a shot, why not? How to fix a broken suitcase in about 30 seconds with a dollar roll of cling film. See what happens. Um, all right, they're also drug proof as well, Michael. Hopefully, no drug smugglers will get into those bags. We've uh, just checked in, uh, got the bag, got rid of the bags. Uh, because the airport's so small here, the international terminal is just tiny. So, we've got like an hour to kill before we can uh, actually go anywhere. So, we're gonna head out uh, back to town so we'll just get, a, get some food. Cheers, have a good one. So we're just back at the airport now after uh, getting some food. So um, yeah, we just got, I think about 20 minutes or so before they open the big uh, international departure gates. Never been to an airport where you have to wait for them to open the international international uh, terminal. So new experiences here, hey Michael. New experiences all around. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yep, we'll uh, just wait around. Hopefully, it'll only be another 10 15 minutes and then we'll be getting on that plane. Thank 
this one is just approaching half past one. As we make our way to the terminal, we do ask that you please remain in your seats with your seatbelts fastened. About 1.30 in the morning, but we made it. We we're, uh, we're in Bali, so uh, just time now to head through all the uh, millions of checkpoints, grab the bags and uh, hopefully find our driver. So good morning from Bali. We crashed out last night after we uh, after we got here really late. It was like two o'clock in the morning by the time we got here. So um, we're just chilling out now. Um, Pudu's making us some lovely breakfast, and um, another couple of guys just came off before to drop off a couple of scooters. So we got them ready to go whenever we want. So uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, chill out, have some breakfast, and uh, and start the exploring.